Boiling an egg, it's a deceptively simple thing. There are so many questions here. How do you know if your eggs are fresh? How do you get the perfect peel? The method really matters here. And at what time do you cook your egg? How do you get the perfect jammy egg? How do you get the perfect hard boiled egg? And what happens when you put an egg in an air fryer? We're answering all the big questions today, my friends. Welcome to Marion's Test Kitchen. I was trying not to say, <laughs> and that's egg-tastic, or whatever. <laughs> what an excellent episode. <laughs> One of the first things we want to figure out is, how do we tell if our eggs are fresh? How do you buy them fresh? And what can you do at home to make sure that your eggs are good to go? Let's do a little test. Now, if you think about the egg itself, we've got the yolk, we've got the white, and then also in here, you've got a little air sac. As the egg gets older, the air sac gets bigger because the shell is porous, absorbs the air. So the theory is that the older the egg, the bigger the air sac and the more it will float. So this is a fresh egg that I bought yesterday. It's on the bottom. Okay, let's have a look at an egg that I've been saving for about five weeks now. Four weeks? Five weeks. Four weeks? Yeah. About a month. We've been saving this egg for a month. <laughs> Actually, we had to like put lots of signs there, do not use. So I was worried that Dax would come in and steal the egg, but he hasn't. So that's what I do, I come in and steal eggs and milk <laughs> and toilet paper and everything. <laughs> He's such a fox. Anyway, we saved the eggs. This egg is about a month old. Let's see. Okay, so we've got a bit of difference here. Now, this one here is on its side. It's definitely stuck down there on the bottom. This guy is bum up. The bum is where the air is. So. <laughs> I was like, we're not going to have any egg puns today. I didn't even mean that. Okay. The more that air sac gets bigger, the more it'll float. Now, general wisdom is that if your egg is actually floating, you should be discarding it and not using it. But this one, probably still good to go, but not as fresh as this one. Now, the float test is great when you're at home with the eggs you've already bought. But how do you buy the fresh eggs at your supermarket or the market? So in Australia, we have a best before date on our eggs. Typically, the best before date is about six weeks after the eggs have been packed. So you always want to try and find the eggs with the longest best before date. If you're in the US or in other countries around the world, you often have a pack date. So you can actually see when your eggs are packed. That is the easiest way to figure out how fresh your eggs are on the supermarket shelf. Why do we care about fresh eggs? Well, obviously no one wants to crack a rotten egg into a dish or into a frying pan. That would be really bad. But also the structure of the egg is really important. So a fresher egg has a really tight circle of white around here and just a little bit that's kind of like leaking out a little bit the side, but you can really see that nice, secure, tight white around the yolk. Now let's have a look at the older egg. So you can see that this one has barely any of that nice kind of tight white around the yolk. It's kind of like very flat, lazy egg white. Now the color isn't anything to do with age. It's basically what the egg was eating. The egg doesn't eat anything. Chickens eat things. Okay. Now the color difference here isn't anything to do with the age. It's basically what the chickens ate at the farm. So disregard that but it's the whites that we're looking at here and you can clearly see a difference. Now this is really important if you are poaching or frying eggs. So if you imagine you're poaching this egg, you're gonna have a really nice tight amount of white floating around your yolk. With this one, if you're poaching it, the white's just gonna disappear into the water. Same thing in the frying pan. This one will spread out more than this one. So you guys know the deal, right? Peeling an egg that won't peel beautifully is so annoying and takes so much longer. So how do you ensure the perfect peel? Add vinegar to the water, poke a pinprick hole in the egg, shock the eggs in cold water. There's just so many things. But I tested all these things and the only things that really mattered were the freshness and the temperature. So we know what doesn't work. Let's get into finding out what does work. This next test is all about finding out which of the two most common methods for boiling eggs is the right one for the perfect peel. One theory is that the eggs should be started in cold water and slowly brought up to the boil. Second theory says you start the eggs in boiling water. And my timer for this one starts now. In the cold water, it starts from the time the water starts boiling. 
let's see which theory works. Okay, we have the eggs, let's see what's happened. Cold water first. Okay, so these are both the same type of egg from the same packet and we're not going too well. Oh, that really annoys me. <laughs> see, and all the bits get stuck and if you were doing a deviled egg, you couldn't present that as a deviled egg, right? Like, I wouldn't put that on my ramen. Let's try our friend here that started in the boiling water. So this is a much better experience. Same egg, same batch same time essentially in boiling water because this one was six minutes from the time it boiled and this one was six minutes from the time it went in the boiling water and the difference is massive we're going to go with boiling now there's just one more test that i want to do here so we saw previously the difference between the fresh and the old egg when you crack them open but what i want to know is is it going to make a difference to peelability let's have a look at the fresh egg first The older egg is slightly easier to peel. I think they both peeled fairly well though. I don't know that I would like go to the trouble of aging my eggs so that I get the perfect peel. <laughs> but if you do have some older eggs and you wanna boil them, you're good to go. All right, what are we testing next? So the thing is that obviously everyone likes different styles of eggs. Some people like soft boiled, hard boiled. What do we want from each of those things? Well, for me, I want the soft boiled to be lovely and creamy. And I want to have a hard boiled egg that is firm, but not like with that gray band that you get when you overcook the eggs. So let's see what each of the eggs looks like at varying points in time so that you can choose which is the ultimate egg for you. So I'm going to put all of my eggs in here and then I'm going to pull them out at certain time stages. I want a six minute egg, an eight minute, a 10 minute and a 14 minute. I think that's going to give us a really good spread from soft to hard. So here we are. I actually find this very exciting. It's like a whole little bunch of presents here. I don't know what I'm going to get. So here we go. Six minutes is up first. Ooh, that's Kind of like the perfect ramen egg that one perfectly like soft and gooey Ooh, i like it did i just get too excited about the egg then <laughs> eight minutes so that's a pretty good like soft boil there we're a bit firm around the edges there but it really like is preference at this point i think still a really good looking egg 10 minutes it's kind of starting to get to more like hard boiled stage i reckon 12 minutes we're definitely hard boiled territory here. I'm starting to see a little bit of gray around the edges here. Whenever they're gray, I feel like the egg yolk's gonna be really kind of like dry and powdery, which I don't like. Some people might like it. So I'm interested to see how the 14 is gonna go. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's definitely really powdery through the middle here. It's not really showing too much gray, a little bit around the edges, but if you're after a really, really firm powdery kind of hard boiled egg, that's pretty good. I think this is a really good range, six right through to 14. I think there's something in there for everyone. I like it, it's good, exciting stuff. Oh wait, we got one more part. <laughs> okay, so just for fun here, bonus round, I thought we would have some fun and just try out some alternative methods of cooking a boiled egg. Steaming is a very popular way of cooking boiled eggs and not so popular and a little weird, the air fryer. So let's give it a go. For the steaming setup, I've just got a pot of water here. I've got a colander that I've sat on top of that water. And then once it's steaming, the egg goes in and it's gonna cook for six minutes. For the air fryer test, I simply place the egg in the basket and then set it for eight minutes. All right, so these are some interesting results. The steamed egg was so difficult to peel and I was thinking that the steamed egg would take the same amount of time, like for a soft boil. So I put it in for six minutes. I'm thinking maybe it wasn't long enough. And obviously six minutes is not giving me the same result as a boiled egg. So steaming obviously would take longer. I could possibly do the test again, but why do it again when I can just boil an egg in six minutes and not worry about steaming for longer? is my opinion. Air fryer egg is a bit weird. So for starters, there's like this weird crater here. There's spots, uh, brown bits. The egg has changed color. It's just, it looks like an alien egg. So I'm not sure I would be happy with that if it was on my plate. And that was 
eight minutes. Well, it's not too bad. I think the cook's pretty good. Like the yolk, is, you know, a bit uneven, I guess, the cooking here. I'm really not into this business though. So for me, steaming, air frying, no. Thank you. Now, if you want to know what to do with your eggs, I have loads of recipes on my website, everything from a ramen topped with a jammy soft boiled egg right through to deviled eggs. So check it all out. And yeah, thanks for joining me, guys, for another Test Kitchen. Excellent Test Kitchen. <laughs> so not funny, is it? It's not funny. <laughs>